All right, folks, here we are. I've had a couple of people that send me some questions about the uh, the Haas machine that I'm working with. Um, I do have a Haas TM1. You can see there's the Haas automation. It's up and running. It's at zero. I just homed the machine out. There's the TM1 signal, uh, table, vice, and everything else. It does go into manual mode, and yes, it does run on single phase. Uh, a lot of people have been really worried about whether they make the investment in this machine or not. As you can tell, I am in a garage. There's the garage door behind it, and then the other garage door behind that. Just a regular household, and we got a ceiling fan up here. Uh, wired it into a box with a switch. This does require a 50 amp 240 breaker. Uh, so you can see you got the wires there, and I had to do a little bit of a rigging to get it into the box, but it, there it is, just a regular panel. Nothing too fancy. It goes right into the panel. I have a, a 50 amp breaker for it. There, I believe there's a 40 amp on the back of the machine. And everything works fine. Let's see, it's going to MDI. I do M3 spindle 1200. Uh, oops, I already have one in there. Delete, delete. I'll do one more over, delete. And we'll just do S1200 and then hit C start. It, uh, the machine is cold at the moment, but it's not going to hurt it. There it is. Spices up, it works. Everything on it works fine. Haven't had any issues. Um, the only, the only, I guess, issue you could say is that it is a reduction in power. I'm not sure. Sometimes I'll have a 3 8 end mill and I'm digging in probably three quarters of an inch deep on the side of a part. And it'll spike it up here around the 100, 125%. But overall, programmable coolant works on it. Uh, I hooked that one up as a retrofit style kit. I have a fourth axis servo in the back. Uh, everything on the inside works correctly. And it machines parts because I use it for my home business every single day. So yes. Can you set up a Haas TM1 in your garage? Absolutely. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or uh, want to see exactly how I did, just go ahead and leave them below in the video, and I'll get back to them as shortly as I can. Until next time, guys.